while we are all obviously affected by this pandemic, no one is more directly so than our medical workers. For the third week in a row, we are honored to check in with registered, registered nurse Emily Allen, who we spoke to this morning. And joining us right now is Nurse Emily Allen. Uh, you just got off a 12-hour overnight shift on the COVID unit at Bethesda Hospital. How are you doing? Um, you know, every shift that I go in, it's just more and more sobering, I feel like. Um, we're usually accustomed to working three days in a row, so last night was my second 12-hour shift, and tonight will be my third. It is definitely getting busier, so um, just trying to get the best workflow down and um, helping train in new staff, which is great. So um, just kind of trying to get the best um, flow down, I guess. Oh, right. And our viewers are going to our viewers are going to see some shots of, of Bethesda before there were any patients. I'm sure it looks very different now. I know it's extremely secure, but let me ask you about the equipment because that's been an ongoing sure. concern. Do you have enough equipment right now and do you have enough going forward? We have enough equipment at this moment today, but it's already starting to dwindle down. Um, at the beginning of every shift, we have a huddle, and they're making it very clear that we need to be using one mask per shift. Unless it's physically ripped or soiled, um, we really need to try and stick with using just one mask per shift. And normally, you would use an N95 mask for every patient you saw. Right. A yes. And you can't do that. You, you, you've got to use the yeah. whole mask for the whole shift. Um, Correct. We also have the N95s under lock and key and the charge nurse has the key to the um, supply of them. So it's our job to hand them out to the appropriate personnel when it's necessary. All right. Um, you said it's getting more crowded. Um, how, sick this, how sick are the people that you're seeing? Um, a lot of the patients are one-to-one -one patients, so one patient to one nurse, and they're on multiple different medications to keep their blood pressure up, to keep them properly sedated while they're on the ventilators. So they're very sick. They have multiple things going on with them. All right. And you're a critical care nurse. I mean, you, you deal with people who are very, very sick all the time. Is there anything right. that's different about this? I think the main thing that's different is, is that, um, you know, in any critical care situation, you have to kind of try and prepare for the unexpected. Same with these types of patients, um, but it's kind of like because of the virus and because of the severity of it, you know, you could be going along and having a stable night and then all of a sudden the slightest little thing could change and it could kind of throw off the balance for the patient and it takes a little while to get them stable again, if that makes sense. It, it has to be unbelievably stressful. It is. It's really uh, the last week has taken a toll on me for sure. I mean, how can you explain and, and how have you been going? Yeah, you know, I go a lot back and forth in my head. I A lot of us volunteered to go over and work at Bethesda, and I a thousand percent feel that that's where I'm supposed to be. Um, a lot of people didn't agree with me going over there, but I talked to my family and my husband, and they support me a hundred percent. But it's like one day I'll go in and feel like I'm taking on the world and saving the world. And then the next day you're, for lack of a better term, you're scared out of your mind. You know, these, these people are all, this virus doesn't just um, target one age range. These are a wide variety of age, age ranges of people. So. Well, we, we are glad that you are helping save the world, Emily, because we need people like you doing it. Let me ask you just a question. Is it difficult to ad administer to these patients who are so sick with all that protective gear? Yes, it's like being in a spacesuit and you're on the moon. It is hot in those masks. Um, we're not even, we're not only wearing those masks in the patient rooms, we're wearing masks for our entire 12 hour shift. So um, a lot of the times it causes pressure on the back of our ears. So we're kind of coming up with some creative solutions for that. Um, you know, our skin's taking a toll too. I'm not sure if you can really see my hand. Oh, wow. Yes. But that's from washing my hand and using hand sanitizer. So um, just kind of multiple 
things that we're overcoming, but the best way to describe it is like you're an astronaut on the moon taking care, <laughs> taking care of these patients. Well, Emily, well, listen, we certainly appreciate w what you're doing and what all the personnel are doing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing your story. We'll check in with you next week, okay? That sounds good. Thank all you, right. Esme. Well, have a good day. Absolutely. You too have a good day. Get some sleep before your I next know. shift. Good night. Okay, good night. <laughs> good night, Emily.